Hey, God bless you, everybody. Not going to be before you long. I just want to talk to you about what it could possibly mean when you see a raven or a crow in your dream or your waking life. And I say raven or a crow because they are they are very closely related. Um, So when you see a raven or a uh, raven in your waking life, the raven or the crow would need to do something remarkable. You can't just be like, I saw one flying today. It's got to do something remarkable to indicate to you that God is speaking to you. So I'll give you a, a real life example. One day I was uh, waking up from just waking up and I heard this tapping and I'm on the second floor, so I knew it had to be a bird, but it, and it sounded like it was tapping on a window pane. So um, the noise was coming from the extra bedroom. So I walked across the hall to go see what it was. And sure enough, there was a bird pecking on a window pane. And I said to myself, well, it must be stuck. But then when I took two steps in, it you know, released itself from the screen and just flew off. So it obviously wasn't stuck. Then I said, well, then maybe it was eating, you know, trying to, you know, eat some bugs or something like that. Maybe there was a bug in the, in, in between the screen and the window pane that it was trying to peck and get out. So I said to myself, I, I try to make it logical and I just kind of try to blow it off because I always get accused of being super um, over over spiritualizing things so I try to blow it off but then it just the you know incident just kept coming back to me and then in my prayer time I just asked the Lord I said you know what is this about because all my 17 years of living here that that has never happened and no bird has ever been pecking on the uh window screen like that and God took me back to fact that I have been feeling very isolated. I have been feeling very um, just like in a wilderness place. Like, um, you know, you know how you get to those places where you feel like don't nobody understand. Like, I'm the only one, you know. And um, I have been feeling like that. And then he showed me that Elijah went through the same thing, so to speak, where God had told him to go by, um, to go next to the brook and have, you know, make sure that, you know, that was his water supply and to basically hide out there and that he would provide the ravens, would pro- he would tell the ravens to provide for him uh, meat and bread in the morning and in the evening. So God was providing the sustenance for Elijah during this drought. And this is what God is saying to you if you see a raven in your waking life or in your dream. God is saying that you, um, although you may be in an isolated place, although you may be um, in a wilderness Although things may be rough, hard, um, you might be in a situation that you feel like um, there's no way God has his hand in this. But God is saying that this is not a shock or surprise to him and that your steps are ordered by him. And he knew that you were going to be in this situation right now. And he has set aside provision for you and um That could come when I think about uh, bread in the morning and bread in the evening. I think about my times with the Lord and how he speaks every day. And um, I get a fresh word every day. Now, some people say that's crazy, but I believe that for everybody. And the only reason why people don't get a fresh word every day from God is because they don't seek him every day. And they don't get quiet to listen to hear what he has to say. And so God is saying that he has set aside. He knew that you were going to be in this situation. He knew that you were going to be in this isolated place where it feels like you're the only one. And God is saying that I have set aside 
the fresh provision every day and every evening for you. And that, like I said, that could come in your daily word. That could come in um, the form of literal provisions. That could come in the form of encouragement and hope. It could be anything, whatever it is that you need to sustain you, because God is your sustainer. Whatever it is that you need to sustain you, to get you through this isolated desert wilderness place. So be encouraged because you have God on your side. All right. God bless you. I love you. And until we meet again.